Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode on Alpha Craft. Today, I'm going to try to get started on my room here. <laughs> so, uh, my plan is to make a... Say hi. My plan is to make a um, a tree shape right here, basically. Tree trunk. Um, but, but first, uh, I want to talk about... I went to the end. Um, that is what I've been doing some grinding. This is a bunch of armor. That I had gotten from the end. Here's some of this is from the end. Some of this is stuff I had. And um, I got an extra elytra. I'm super happy about that. And let's see. I also got um, extra shulker shells. And, you know, some a few diamonds, a few emeralds uh, in here in this box. So, yeah, I, I'm super happy. I, I was able to get um, my axe enchanted here. It's decent. Um, and I like it. It's good for chopping wood because that's what I have to do. Because I need a whole lot of oak wood to build my room, basically, here. Alright, so here we are at the tree farm, and oh my goodness, what, where are all the acacia leaves? What? Somebody took the leaves and left the wood. Um, okay, we'll see if I can get enough saplings from what's left. I think I have fortune on my pick, so... Um, okay, well let's see if... Um, I'm going to try to fix this and regrow the trees. Oh. Okay, so I took a little detour. Uh, um, the bunny bond said she wanted an enchanted golden apple, and even though I have that one, I was uh, I was gonna try to save it. So I just thought, you know, I'm gonna let's go out and look and see if we can find some stuff. So I found a treasure, and I got this treasure map. So I found this uh, this treasure right here. Let's see what's in it. Ooh, lots of cool stuff. All right, let's take off and look for something else. Ooh, here's a new, um, here's one of these portal thingies. Let's see what's in this chest. Uh, eh, not that much stuff. I'll take the obsidian though. Mm, nah. It's not very, not very good stuff. No apple in there, but I will get this gold. Can't leave this, these gold blocks. I know we got lots of gold, but I can't leave the gold blocks. All right, let's head off. All right, so I did a little more looking. Couldn't really find much of anything. So I kind of gave up and I have decided that um, Bunny can have this apple that I got. Um, I don't know if you remember, I think it was last episode and I found it in the skeleton spawner dungeon. So, you know, let's, let's go ahead and give her this. She really needs it. She needs to make banners. And so, yeah, uh, she said I can meet her. So we're going to go meet her in just a minute. Uh, hey, Bunny. I really need an enchanted gold apple now. Well, I have it. Here's the thing. They're so rare. They're so rare. I'm willing to give you a stack of diamonds for it. <gasps> oh, my goodness. A stack. That's a lot. Oh, my goodness. I have a little, oh. have a little problem, though. Okay. I don't have a stack of diamonds yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Well, uh, I trust you. I know where you live. Oh, so. That's right. I'm moving. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I'm right there. I'm from. I'm not going anywhere. I will give you this note, which says, "I owe you one stack of diamonds or equivalent." Oh. So if you can okay. give something that you prefer rather hmm. than a stack of diamonds, you let me know. And if not, I will get mining my little bunny brains out, and I will get you that stack of diamonds. Okay, I'll think about it. Uh, here you go. Right, okay. <gasps> you have it. Yes. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> Okay, and I'll also give you a free banner. Ooh, okay. Because this is what it's for. It's for my banner shop. Oh, wow. All right. That's, that sounds like a deal. Because we're in such a small um, world now, this is probably the only one on the server. Oh, you think? I, I don't know. There's a lot of mine shafts, maybe? Maybe. Maybe. The best. I really need it for my banner shop. I'm going to put it in my end chest because I'll probably eat it. Okay, yeah, that's a good see. idea. <laughs> <laughs> just pondering the world at the window. Just eat my enchanted golden apple. I could do that. Uh, that yeah. was something I would do. You would. Oh, thank you so okay, much. You're welcome. Thank you. You're the best. Oh, you're awesome. I got I got enchanted. Thank you so much. You are okay, awesome. Okay. Thank you. And back to work we go. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Bye, spider. Okay, so um, I went to Choppin' 
got to chop in some wood and I've got a little bit in my inventory here, but okay, before I can get started, before I can place this, I, I got to move, um, I got to move all this stuff. See all this, all this junk is I've got to move it out of the way. And I'm thinking right over here, this little room that I wasn't sure what to do with. I think, you know what, I'll just temporarily. Yeah. Here's, here's the door to the, the hallway. I, I'm going to have to redo some stuff. Um, yeah. So all of this stuff, I'm going to have to move to a little temporary location, get it out of the way so that we can start building. All right, so here I am uh, in the temporary room. I've I've walled this off here, and I walled it off there, and um, here come out here, and I've already made just the general shape right here um, with some of the logs, and um, I, this is gonna be what I'm gonna start with. Uh, I've got to replace this floor though. Um, I'm not sure what's under it. I'm gonna check, but up there we've already got a beacon with speed. That's awesome. Um, yeah, I think uh, so. This is what we're gonna go through here. And so yeah, this, the hallway will be here. And so basically my room's just gonna be, you know, the tree log that's uh, right here in this little corner. And it's gonna go, it's gonna be my room. <laughs> so yeah, uh, it's gonna be, look like a tree. So let's see what's under here. Um, okay, oh, there's black, there's a black block. Oh, I don't know what that is. Okay, so this might be easier than I thought if there's this isn't open. I can just um replace all this. I there's black. What is that? Let's see what this is. It is Oh, can I get it? <laughs> oh, it's um black concrete. Okay, oh that this must be okay, that must be the edge of Richard's room. All right, so let's see what's here. Uh, I think that's a room that's not used, but uh, I'm going to do a little bit of modification and uh, come right back. All right, so I've uh, did, worked on a little bit. Um, as you can see, it's almost night, but I replaced the floor. Everything is spruce. I put a layer of dark oak underneath that spruce if there was a room below. Um, that way, just uh, they wouldn't see spruce. So, yeah, this is some... Um, I'm getting places. I'm finally, I'm finally making it a little bit. So... Next, uh, uh, let's go see how much more oak wood that we've got. Um, how much do I have? Um, yeah, not much in here. Let's see how much is in here. I'm, I'm going to use up this much and we'll see how far we can get. Okay, so a little bit of a few minutes later. <laughs> here, let's, let's fly up here so you can see. Go. Let's turn around. Okay, yeah, I'm liking how that's looking so far. So this is the base of the trunk. Um, this top part here, let's land on the roof, on the beacon. All right, so this top part, I have to go chop in some more wood. Um, this is going to go up probably, I don't know, eight or ten blocks, something like that. So, but I got to get to chopping. And I'm going to have to, I'm going to somehow or another, once once I get the tree kind of built up, I will fix the roof and kind of um, make it just look more natural like it, it was meant to, um, you know, come together with the tree. All right. I've uh, done a little bit. I had to go get some more oak wood. Um, this is where we've left off. So, yeah, my room is still just a wooden shell. All right, so a few things have been happening. So over here, so when I went to come chop some of the oak wood, which I still need a little bit more, um, I decided, you know, we have like this random, we had the random farms out here. We had that big old hole right there um, with, with a fence around it. And um, we had some cactus over there and just everything was a mess. So. Uh, I decided, I was just like, you know, let's clean this up because we do have our farm area over there, our community farm, and um, it's something for everybody. So, you know, it wasn't just one person's farm, but I, I didn't uh, change that part. I just went ahead and moved stuff to be closer. And, and one night I came here and I 
I added some uh, cocoa beans right here, which it wasn't meant to stay there. I was just trying to get it out of the way. So I went ahead and um, got that stuff off of there. Um, I left a few trees, but yeah, I put the, the coarse fruit back here for now. Um, we may have a farm somewhere set up. Um, I think Beard might be working on that. But I thought, you know, for now, we'll just we'll just get it back here. It's easy to move. And then um, also back here, uh, let's see. I can get up here. I don't think a baby zombie can get through that. I'm not sure where we'll find out. But I went ahead and I also put, you know, some sugar cane, put the cocoa beans here. Oh, and I decided also I put cactus. I decided to make just um an automatic one. Let's see how much cactus is here. Uh I decided, you know what? While we're here, while this is loaded, um, it'll just collect cactus. So we can just come and grab some. And there's 26. It's it's not bad. I just did it last night. So somebody came here and added the melons and pumpkins, so that's cool. So yeah, now we have all of the crops. Oh, and we also have the two tall flowers. Maybe we should put the flowers, actually. Maybe we should put those right here. There we go. All right, so we've got the two tall flowers now uh, in the front. So super easy to access. What I have been noticing is all the other alphas that are like really, they're really getting, uh, they're getting things done and I'm just, I'm just just piddling and just doing like, oh, I, I don't have a whole lot done. Like I don't really have, um, I don't know, the season went pretty fast uh, as far as getting started. Yeah, I'm hearing zombies. There must be a cave under here or something. <laughs> oh no. But yeah, I, I'm, I've been trying to work on my room because a lot of them, a lot of the other alphas, they've been working on their rooms. Look, they even have stuff to sell like... I don't have any stuff to sell. Like, I don't know what to sell. Hmm. I don't have, like, anything of my own. Like, I've just been kind of mooching off the community here. <laughs> I just, I'm a community liver, I guess. I, I don't know. So, I need to chop some more wood. Because I really, I want to make sure that I have enough. Those cows are super loud. See, I only have this much. I really need a lot more. Um. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I need I need more room than I have in here. So uh, I'm going to get to chopping. All right. So a little while after I was chopping some wood, uh, I guess, I don't know, I got a little bored and I thought, you know, it'd be cool to have a just a small map here of the surrounding area. So I made one. <laughs> so here's the there's some mansion and the little green area around it. There's all of our community stuff. And um, we do, the skeleton farm is, mm, I need to go through here and mark, but I think this little dot right there in the center, I think that's the skeleton farm entrance. Uh, so it's not terribly far. Um, but anyway, look, we have ice spikes, like right, just right across the ocean there. I think that's really, really cool uh, that we've got uh, ice spikes over there. Um, but anyway, yeah, this is the... Um, surrounding area the first village we started at was actually i think it's like two maps away from this edge here i think it's it's up there in that corner uh, maybe further it actually might be further these are all just the single zoom maps uh one by one so um anyway yeah now as we build and um build up around here um hopefully these maps should be updated and i think it looks pretty cool to come in and see okay this is our surrounding area so all right, so I did a thing. So this this episode, I did not get uh, any further yet up there in my room, but I did do something else. I figured out what I want to sell. And um, let's see. So the story is, so Mirha needed some turtle eggs to start um, some farm he needed the turtle eggs for. I can't remember. And so I said, oh, I saw some one day when I was out exploring, but I just didn't even think to stop and get eggs. And um, I told him that it was out west somewhere. So anyway, I started heading out west. Uh, apparently, he started heading out west as well. He was further than me, found some. And then on my way back here, uh, I found two turtles. And I decided, okay, even though he found some, I thought, you know what? I'll, I'll breed some. And this in my little temporary room here. And I made this side <laughs> a little turtle farm. So I have been, I've got some... Uh, five helmets already and then a, 
some eggs to put down when I have time to AFK I'll uh, plant those down there and I've got um, a couple of turtles left so yeah I am going to do turtle helmets and golden carrots uh, I'm gonna call it the turtle and the hair I think I think that's what I'm gonna I'm gonna call the little vending machine down the, out there in the front with the others I got my little uh, makeshift shop up here. Um, it's like, it doesn't even make sense. I mean, does anything make sense uh, on this? Uh, oh, there's my block. Does anything make sense on this season? I don't know. So I wanted to call it the turtle and the hare because I have uh, turtle helmets, which I'll be making more, but I've got four to start. And then golden carrots, I've got seven stacks to start. So I I'm thinking one diamond per stack because it only takes... Uh, I think I determined it was a stack of gold ingots per stack of carrots, pretty much. Um, you know, and then I would I would say five diamonds each for these because it's quite a bit to sit there and wait. And, um, you know, I don't know. I think that's for, I don't know if, if that's too much. They're not enchanted. I figured, you know, some people are personal on enchants. Um, I did get a bunch of Unbreaking 3 books, but if I add the enchants, then it, it makes it more expensive for them to add. So I thought, you know, I'll just leave it unenchanted because they might be able to get a better deal on the table. Thank you for watching. I hope you check out the other alphas. All of their links are in my description. Signing off here from this crazy mansion that nothing is making sense, but hey, we're going to work with it. See you next time. Bye.